might be able to see him from here. Yeah. We got the who. There can't be two alpha titans. Who bows to who? Kong bows to no one. Yeah. All right, guys, what is going on? Today's video is going to be about the RAM and what is going on and what do we have coming. Because, yes, we do have some big mods coming. I mean, I'm not going to say huge mods, but they are big. Um, it could take a while. I'm going to explain to you what we got, what I want to, what, what I ordered technically, and uh, yeah, what is going to happen with the RAM. I'm going to show you some other things with the RAM because, as you can see from here, Stock, I don't know if you can see from here, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a flip around and show you something else real quick. Might be able to see him from here. Yeah, we got the Hoosiers mounted. This is the old wheel, actually. I'm pretty sure. I the only thing I cleaned on the truck right now are the wheels. As you can see, the truck is dirty. I don't know if you can see how dirty the truck is from here, but I did clean the wheels. This is the uh, the non broken one. We did get the new one in, guys. Let me show you that wheel real quick. This thing is shiny because I don't know how much shinier you can see it, but shiny as hell. Beautiful. And we got the drag pack on. So that's what we got going on with the truck. I think just the only thing that's on is the drag pack. Right now it's sitting full weight, full everything because I was driving around enjoying the truck for a month. And um, yeah, guys, so uh, we're going to talk about what we got for the Ram. But all I have to say is you got to admit that looks good. I actually love the look with the Hoosiers. Love the look. So, yeah, let's talk about what's going on and what we got coming for the Ram. And this is going to be big. All right, guys. Well, here's what we got going on for the Ram. <laughs> we ordered something, and I'm going to tell you what it is right now. I'm not going to beat her on the bush about it. I ordered a fuel cell. Uh, Custom-made fuel cell by, from Jason DeRaya. I don't know when he's going to get to it. I just told him I need it. He told me, you know, he's doing a big job right now. So it could be, it could be a while, which is not a big deal. I'm not in a rush. But the pl the plan with the fuel cell, which a lot of this is like, I'm going to show you a picture right now, what it looks like here or here. I'm not sure where I'm going to post it yet. Where, but I'm going to show you a picture what the fuel cell looks like and why I'm going with a fuel cell and getting rid of the gas tank. So the main thing with getting rid, with getting a fuel cell, the number one thing I want is fuel transfer like I don't right now I'm not planning on running E85 I don't have the injectors for E85 I am gonna run MS 109 like I did when I was 5.7 stock motor so the plan with that is it's a it's a custom seven gallon fuel cell I'm gonna have like a lot all the fastest Rams and a lot of all basically they all got their custom fuel cells from Jason Duray all the same seven gallon fuel cell from him so the reason I want to get a fuel cell and not just run MS-109 in my huge gas tank is two big reasons. With the fuel system I have now, I can't go, I can't go wide open throttle under uh, a quarter is like the minimum. Can't go anything like that. And some people say, go, don't go anything less than half, which I don't go to the track with less than half a tank right now because of the different fuel system. And that means basically I'd have to have 13 gallons of MS-109 in the truck just to even get to the track to be able to race it. So, yes, I can, you can go, like I said, I've gone to a quarter tank so far, flooring it, no issues whatsoever getting lean. The reason I say lean er, is because the fuel can slosh around in the fuel tank when it's not, um, when it's not as high up, you know what I mean, when it's not full. So the fuel tank, the fuel cell, I'm going to get, I have a couple of, um, uh, nice, uh, race, great, uh, gas can race jugs, the VP ones, they're great. So my plan is to basically drive to the track on 93. Siphon out the 93 out of the fuel cell because I'm going to have it uh, put it right in the bed. Siphon right out the friggin' into the gas can. Dump MS-109 in there. Do my track runs. Bing, bang, boom. And then on the way home, put the 93 back in. Done. And I'll be, yeah, you know, the tracks I go to are not that far. If I'm going to a further track, I'll bring more gas. More 93, more MS-109. But I, I won't even bring more MS-109 because one can of MS-109 should get me a track, a track day easily. Like probably a little bit more. So that's the plan with that. Like I said, the reason I didn't want to run it, I don't want to run MS-109 on the stock gas tank is because I spent so much money running MS-109 just in the big gas tank because you got to have a certain amount of gas in this huge 26-gallon gas tank even to run it. So that's the main reason. And the other main reason is because this truck just literally almost sits here during the week. I don't really do anything with it. I don't own anymore with it. 
and it's basically a race truck that's not a race truck. It's like a street race. It's like a street truck, but it's a race. I, all I do is really racing. I drive it around, have a little fun sometimes. So the plan with that is to be able to swap full fuels and a full, the fuel cell is significantly lighter than the, uh, than the huge gas tank. We're going to save on a full gas, on a full tank of gas compared to a full fuel cell, full, both full fuels, we're going to save 150 pounds. So that is going to be huge, especially saving 150 pounds and switching to race gas. That's going to be awesome. Eventually, am I going to go, possibly go to uh, E85? I'm not sure right now because I'm running the fuel cell. I want to run good E85. I don't want to run the pump E85. I want to run the, the, the racing ethanol if I decide to go that route, which I may down the future. We'll see. We will see. I know HHP don't really like to run it. Jay's not a big fan of it. He says he will do it for me, though. He's like, if you really want to run it, we can do it. He just, I got to retune and this, that. It's a lot of, lot of shit going on. Then I got to get new injectors and stuff. So right now, what can we do? We can grab MS-109, throw it in the truck, and we're, we're ready to rock. And basically, that's the, the big upgrade that I got. Yeah, I'm going to get a fuel cell, and we're going to be running race gas. And turn up the power, so this thing could be running a hell of a lot faster once it comes in. So I don't know when it's coming in. Hopefully I can get it within a couple of, maybe within a month or so, but I still want to get the 10 on 93 before we do anything. So next time at the track, interior's coming out. I am going to go with the tailgate on to see if we can, if it puts in a little bit better pressure. If it's not doing anything, tailgate's coming off and uh, we're going to be losing some weight. So the tires that are mounted are significantly lighter than the old setup, about 13 to 14 pounds lighter per side. So we're getting better rotational mass. It's a little bit shorter the old one, the, uh, the Mickeys I had were 30.3 inches. These are 29.3 inches. The width, these are actually wider by an inch. These are, uh, I, when I looked it up, I think it was like 11.5 for the Mickeys. These are 12.5. These are wide as hell. So these, that's what I like. And they're bias ply, so a little bit more play with the launch and the head of this thing because it's so heavy. I think bias ply would actually end up doing better. The Mickeys work great. I probably could have got another set of Mickeys and been good, but they were just so worn that, yeah, they, bam. Um, but yeah, guys, that's what we got going on with that coming up. I'm hoping to be hitting the track this week. I'm not sure if I can, uh, I don't know what's going on, but I want to be hitting the track. And the reason I haven't posted in a month, I was waiting for the wheel. I did a lot of night shift. I just been working. Basically I've been doing a lot of, a lot of working lately guys. And I know I haven't been getting the videos out. I put a bunch of videos out last month, but this month has been not too good. So Hopefully, once we get to track, we get track videos going again. Everything will go back to normal content, and we get the fuel cell in and, you know, rock and roll with this, guys. Uh, yeah, so hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like, comment, subscribe. Do what you got to do, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.